Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Ten tips to achieve anything that you want in your life. Now, a lot of us are trying to be, do, and have a really good business or a happier existence, but it's not an easy road. And I know that there are a lot of people that are really, really good at what they do. Some are even elite, a very select few are completely unstoppable. But those who are unstoppable, they live in a world of their own. Have you ever noticed that they usually don't compare themselves with anyone but themselves? You never know what they will do next or what it is that they're going to come up with. All we're going to be doing is being forced to respond. I mean, at the time of this podcast, we are going through one of the hardest times in business Yet, this is the time that has created one of the richest people in the world uh, in the name of Elon Musk. You know, even if you don't compete with him, you just are boggled with what he's going to do next. And right now, he's working towards, um, you know, stopping world hunger. Can you imagine the amount of effort and work that needs to go into just trying to put food on every table in the world? Well. I'm going to give you uh, some of my tips that I think if you follow them, you will be able to achieve anything in life. And even though you're not going to be competing with anyone, you will be unstoppable. And I hope by the end of this um, podcast, you also will be. Now, let's get started. You know, it's quite funny. I'm not a stranger to feeling stuck in life. So I'm going to be talking about this with utmost love and respect because we don't all have the same conditions. We don't have the same people, upbringing or circumstances. But I know one thing for sure. If you put your heart, mind and soul towards anything that you want, you will be able to be, do and have whatever you want in life. And that is one of my biggest whys to actually help or be a role model to those people that might not be able to um, achieve greatness by themselves. And I don't even know what that looks like, but I'm going to be tackling that every single day of my existence. All right. Because the reason why a lot of us fail in life is not because we aim too high and miss, but we actually aim too low. And then we hit because we don't have that reference point or a place to really show us what can be possible. You see, I was born in Zimbabwe and from birth, I knew that I was destined for more. You know, even if I was going to school and everything else. I just knew that where I was was temporary and I looked around unbeknownst to me for situations and opportunities that would actually make me realize that I too can be, do and have uh, whatever I wanted. And guess what? If you search for these kind of things, they will show up. I was inspired by a teacher um, who came to our school as an exchange teacher and she literally changed the course of my life. Because I had decided not to settle. And when, you know, the universe is always seeking for ways, um, you know, for you to achieve your goals or whatever it is that you dream of. So after I was inspired, I left Zimbabwe and everything that I knew. And I headed over to Australia. And that was in 2011, almost 10 years or so ago, where I was going to start all over again. You know, when I 
rocked up in Australia. I just turned 28 with no family, no life or any savings. I want you to go back a little bit to think of what you were doing or where you were when you were 28. You probably were in a corporate job or you probably knew what you wanted in your life or you probably had the connections or were already starting a family. I had none of that stuff. Basically, I had no connections, no plan, but a backpack that was full of hopes and dreams that I just um, come with from Zimbabwe, you know, and with that, you know, you can imagine when 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 you arrive at a place and nobody knows your name, you got to work twice as hard to get half of anybody else that has been um, in that place already. So, you know, like I said, no connections. And as soon as I landed, I had to get a job you know, and I started working as a dishwasher in a restaurant on Ligon Street. Um, but obviously, because of that need and yearning for human beings to connect, I soon was now looking to to connect with the people that I was working with. And obviously, I got bored, you know, you can't you know, survive by yourself and coming from Africa where we basically live in a community and where we basically thrive as a society, you know, coming here where you only come to work and all you do is look at your section and then um, go home, etc. So I wanted to connect with the people that I was working with and definitely half of the time I would spend the evening eating a pizza that I would have been given from work and just really missing my friends and my livelihood and thinking, is this, is this what it was cut out to be, you know? And, you know, some people might not know what that felt like, but that's very painful. You know, you're living by yourself in a backpackers, which is where I was living. And some people are um, traveling. You are trying to make a living. All right. So uh, I, I, I thought I couldn't live like this anymore. And then I thought I'd give it a shot. Try making money like others um, who seem to be doing it online while they were traveling. And just so I could get on top of things. You know, because what was now happening is my family at home was now expecting me to help. I was in a big fix. I don't know if you've ever heard of what's called black tax. It's this, you know, unspoken third world principle that if you escape poverty, you have to send the elevator down and it doesn't go down empty. You know what I mean? You you have to fill it up with whatever you've achieved and help anyone else who you left behind too. So I tried everything and I completely failed. You know what I mean? I lost a lot of money and I even got evicted from my apartment in, in Richmond. Things were definitely not looking up. So like I, when I told you I'm no stranger to feeling stuck in life, I, I was genuine. You know, you can imagine having come from a place where I was literally top of my game, but having to start all over again. And things things were just not looking up. And the biggest irony of it all is I was living the worst life in the most livable city at that time. <laughs> you know, I searched and I searched and I tried everything, man. You know, there's actually videos of me crying on the internet, you know, during an induction meeting for a marketing course. I remember I signed up, saw a YouTube um, video, and then I followed it up, signed up, and it, it all turned out to be yet another wheel spinner again. And it got me nowhere real fast. You know, that didn't work. And, and I, I really wanted it to work a super, super bad. And it actually became an obsession. So after trying everything that, you know, that's when I cr came across a mentor. And that also changed my life. You know, when you're open to learning and open to suggestion and open to things that could possibly happen, the universe is always conspiring and bringing people, situations and circumstances to you. So basically when I got this mentor, I had to save all the money that I could and I implemented the lessons. Then I started creating an automated lead generation process in my business. Boy, did I start working hard to actually start filling the top of the funnel for that. See, right now you might be thinking, ah, oh, yeah, you know, I'm listening to this guy. Who is he and everything else? You know, we have a, you know, a portfolio of over 450 clients that we've worked with so far. You know, we've worked with people like Origin Energy. I've actually done campaigns for people like Officeworks. You know, a lot of coaches and consultants and some small business owners out there. 
And one of my clients was a buyer's agent. You know, he ended up helping us with our first investment property. Do you know what I mean? I had found my process. You know, it was the online prosperity blueprint. And I'm really hoping that if you are searching for that one thing, just, you know, pay attention. If you're going through hell right now, pay attention because that's not the destination. Where you are is temporary. You know, I started showing all my friends, you know, the money that was piling around and in my bank account. And I even took my family on a historical trip around Australia where we drove almost one, I mean, 13,131 kilometers. We went through the red center all throughout, um, you know, those places. Would you have thought that somebody who came with absolutely nothing is now showing his wife the Australian backyard. Even I couldn't believe it. So, I mean, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life or do whatever it is that you're doing. You know what I mean? I, I'm just, just giving you a testimony of what it is that happened to me when I really realized that I had to identify my market, I had to clarify my message, and I had to get myself unstuck. Like, I'll tell you something, I've trained and I've worked with some of the best coaches on the planet, you know, during this whole six, seven years that I've been, you know, running my business and I've been on television, I've, you know, in, you know, interacted with the A class of um, A listers of Melbourne. But when I went on to start my own company, you know, my whole thesis is just to share my knowledge about the, you know, motivational psychology and how you too can be, do and have whatever it is that you want. So if, if you would notice that the, the, the topic of this podcast is, this is just the tips that I want you to maybe take to heart so you can achieve anything that you want in life. You know, if I came from Zimbabwe not knowing anyone and not being able to actually, you know, put food on the table and pay my next day's rent to having whiskers delivered every single month and, you know, properties in and around Australia and a family that is to die for and a business that's profitable and enjoyable, I bet you two can uh, do it if you put your heart and soul in it. Okay, but I know one thing for sure. If you're a coach or a consultant, launching a new business is not easy. You know, you have to give up the comforts of maybe a stable paycheck and then you delve into the unknown. And it's very unpredictable. I think it was Elon Musk that says that when you're starting a business, it's like chewing on glass and then just looking into the abyss. A lot of things keep us from making that leap and, you know, things like fear, insecurity, and one thing above the rest is the motivation, all right? Find your why, you know what I mean? Find the thing that will get you to really step into your um, zone of genius and just leave everything else behind like I did. I was so comfortable in Africa. I mean, seriously, you can hear the way I speak English and can you imagine the opportunities that would have been available to a person like me there, but I, I didn't let that, um, you know, cocoon me or cushion me. You know, I always look back to my days as as an African kid. You know, what I I understood what was different. I remembered what or who had made me push myself, even when I didn't want to. I did mention that teacher who came, um, you know, took um, her time to 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 come to Africa and and and, and teach us mathematics. For the rest of the kids in the class, she was just yet another teacher who was bugging them for homework. But for me, that I saw that as an inroad to what I have now become and what is, um, you know, in, in, in store for the future. You know, when I got here, I struggled, you know, but I made sure that I found myself, you know, reference points. I found successful people who I wanted to model myself around. You know, and what I then did was made sure that I was disciplined and kept a consistent structure, which kept me really focused on building my business. And then from then on, everything became, um, you know, easy. 
And thankfully, I've, I passed this stage and I founded Live Long Digital, which is basically a um, digital marketing agency for star players that are looking to grow their business. You know, I started reading, I learned along the way, and I was sharing with others so that they too can strive to be better themselves. And I feel like if you just take any one of the next 10 best tips for achieving anything in your life, you too can be doing have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. One of the things that I want you to really get started on is focus. I mean, like focus. If you spell focus, it's follow one course until successful. There are so many things that are out there in the world. There's so many opportunities that will come up in your WhatsApp, in your messenger, and they will just, you know, distract you from going towards your main goal. You know, I want you to really focus on being committed to something. Commit yourself to whoever you want to become. Right now, my actual dreams envy my reality. So you want to focus on commitment and not wait for somebody to come and motivate you. Just how committed are you to your goals right now? How important is it for you? You know, what are you willing to sacrifice in order to achieve it? I left everything, got on a flight where no one was waiting for me on the other end of the flight. I had to figure it out from day one. What are you willing to sacrifice in order to achieve that which you say you want in life? Because if you find yourself fully committed, let me tell you something, the motivation will follow. That's why I think it was Tony Robbins or, you know, any one of these big teachers will always talk or relate to the story of how when, um, you know, the pirates got to any island, they would actually burn the boats, right? So that the people that they were with, their crew would know that there's no turning back. There's no way home unless they conquer that island. All right. And one of the things that I've noticed with people is everybody's just talking about results. People are looking at the end result, but they're not looking at the body of work, the knowledge that is needed in order for you to improve, to explore, to experiment, and actually back yourself up. Because if you focus on excitement of, of discovery, of achieving, or of you know, exploring, you know, one thing that happens is you will absolutely win, okay? And if you only focus on results, your motivation will be like the weather. It will die the minute you hit a storm or the minute you actually achieve the results because sometimes you, you will achieve the results and then you ask yourself, is that all there is? So the key is to focus on the journey, not the destination, you know, focus on the actual journey, not where, where it is that you're going. And just keep thinking about what you're learning along the way because it's not what you become, it's who you become on your way to success, all right? And while you're doing that, make it fun because what's the point in you doing things that you absolutely maybe do not like doing but you have to if it's not going to be fun? Because this is an awesome game. I, I kid you not. This is an amazing game. Because the minute you make it serious, there's a big chance that you start carrying a heavy emotional weight and you lose perspective and then you become stuck again. All right? Try and have fun. Lighten the Lord. You know, associate with people that are also having fun and not people that are just too serious along the way. You know? Because it's who you surround yourself with that then ends up, um, you know, becoming that what you become. Because we become the average of the five people we, we spend our time with. And while you're doing that, just get rid of any stagnating uh, thoughts. Because thoughts influence feelings and feelings determine how you view your work. So if you're not feeling good, you're not going to show up. I kid you not, this is a Saturday and it's 2.38 p.m. But I'm sitting here and recording this podcast. You know, you have a lot of thoughts in your head and you always have a choice of the ones that you need to focus on. 
And the ones that will make you emotionally stuck, you know, all the fears, the doubts, all the naysayers in your ears, all the ones that, you know, will will just be deterring you. Focus on the thoughts that will bring excitement, you know, bring the experimenting, learning, you know, trying new things. Just step out of your comfort zone. All right. You look at how I would have come in here if I just decided okay this is what it what it is i'm not gonna venture out and meet new people would you be listening to this podcast today you know and half of the things that would have happened are not set in stone you know the things that would have the way i met my wife the the way i really started this job you know keep your eyes peeled out because you know when opportunities show up they're not just gonna knock you upside your head and say hey we're here This is what you need, and it doesn't come with a manual. So you want to use your imagination. You know, the next step after getting rid of any negative thoughts is the use of your imagination. You know, when we're kids, we're told to imagine what life will be like when we get older. I don't know if we lose that sense of imagination as we we actually then get older. Because when things go well and you're full of positive energy and and you're experimenting or, you know, trying out new things, whenever you you experience difficult, difficult times, I kid you not, if you're imaginative, you will actually look at a situation and say, hey, things can get better. And that actually gives you more energy. So you want to rename your situation. You know, don't say you're broke. Just say you're experiencing a financial limitation or whatever it is. Just don't use the words that actually disempower you. You know, because if you keep repeating the words, oh, I hate my work. Oh, I don't want to wake up. Oh, the alarm has gone off. Guess which feelings those words would actually evoke. You know, it's a, it's a matter of imagination, right? You can always find something to learn even from the worst boss or from the worst um, spouse or family, you know, it's just your perspective around it. Okay. Even when you're exercising, you know, if you make it fun and you, 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 you gamify it. I have a great exercise for you to try out now, just for the next three days. Think and say positive things only. I want you to see what's going to happen. Just Think positive, say positive, be around positive people and watch your life change in front of your eyes. But also there's one thing that normally happens that lets us down um, to achieve anything that we want in life is we are being too nice to ourselves. We are giving ourselves participation trophies for things that are trivial. You know, motivation means action, and action brings results. We know this, all right? Sometimes your actions might fail to bring the results that you want, so you prefer to be nice to yourself and put yourself than to put yourself in a difficult situation. And you you say, no, don't worry, I'll wait for the perfect timing or the best opportunity while you're driving yourself into stagnation or sometimes into some sort of a depression. I urge you to just get out there, challenge yourself, do something that you would do even if you're afraid. Do it anyway. Feel the fear and do it anyway. And while you're at it, just get rid of distractions. You know, there's meaningless things, Netflix, Netflixing and chilling, all of those things, whatever is happening in the economy, the economy will always have something in it just so that other people can follow it. If it's not affecting you right now, your bottom line, hey, hey, just cut it out of your life. Cut off the TV. Learn to focus on what's really important. You know, just write a list of all the things that are wasting your time and hold yourself accountable not to do them. And don't ever rely on other people to do this for you. This is your life and you are the only person that's going to achieve all the things that you want. You should never expect others to do it for you. Your personal trainer is not going to do the sit-ups and then you get the abs. Your coach is not going to do the diet and then you get skinny. 
your friend, your boss, your mother, your father, they are also living their own lives. They're all too busy with their own needs. No one will make you happy or help you achieve your goal. It's all on you. I want you to repeat after me. Just say, it's all on me. Say that. I didn't hear you. Say that again. It's all on me. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And once you're, while you're doing that, just keep planning. All right. Just know three steps ahead because clarity is the best tool that you can have for yourself. The next time you go into your car, I want you to observe this. All right. Your windscreen or windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror. Why? Because you need to see at least around the corner. Okay? So you need to know what you're going to do next because a lot of people get demotivated simply because they don't know what to do next. You do not need to do more. Just make sure your weekly calendar is filled with stuff to do. You need to note when you will do what and how you're going to do it because when the when, the what, and the how is really important for you to schedule it and review how each day went, what you've learned, and then revise what you need to improve. Above all, protect yourself from burnout. Let me tell you something. It's really easy to burn out because we are all looking at other people for reference, but we don't know what they have, what opportunities they got, or what support they're having from the people around them. So it's really easy to burn out when you're not motivated. You want to observe yourself. You know what I mean? And, and, and try and recognize signs of when you, when you get tired or when you, when you feel like not really doing anything and you think you're going to be uh, either making a mistake or a hazard to the people around you, just take a rest. All right? This whole hustle, hustle culture is misleading. It only works from, um, you know, misleading Facebook ads. Your body and mind need that rest. And when you can schedule that relaxation and fun time in your weekly calendar, guess what? You will actually be among the top people that are, um, you know, high achievers, you know, and keep switching the things that you're doing just so that you don't have the mundane um, activities that then leave you depleted because you let me tell you something. You lack motivation, not because you're lazy or you don't have a goal. You lack motivation because you don't have a plan. Even the biggest stars, you know, the richest business people, or the most accomplished athletes, you know, they get lost sometimes. But they either have people around them or they either have curiosity or they're studying or they're learning and they get the next moves either from the books or the courses that they're taking. You know, what makes them motivated is the curiosity about how much better or faster they can actually get. So above all, I urge you, be curious. All right. And this will lead you to your goals and your absolute su success. I really and viscerally want that you too will have a business that is profitable and enjoyable. So if you're a coach or a consultant or a small business owner that is stuck without a process or a clear product or you don't have any revenue, I'd like to see if I can turn this around for you so that your business is profitable, especially within the next 90 days. You know, and don't worry, there's not going to be any homework or any technical overwhelm. I've written down all of this in a simple 10-step process that I you can follow at your own pace. So you can get for free what has costed me thousand tears and sleepless nights to actually learn. I want you to download your 10-step process, um, I think, in the link that comes with this podcast here. Let me tell you something. I can't wait to hear your story too. And here I am. I'm already celebrating your success already. Go after it. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. 
This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.